All right, everyone, hold on to your CPUs because today we're diving into the wild world of Wi-Fi hacking in 2025. This is going to be an eye-opening journey into the latest techniques and tools used by hackers. Now, before my moral compass explodes and the comments section descends into chaos, let's get the legal stuff out of the way. It's crucial to understand the boundaries and laws surrounding this topic. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. We're here to inform and educate, not to encourage any illegal activities. Hacking Wi-Fi networks without permission is illegal. You could face serious consequences, including fines and jail time. We're talking ethics here, people. It's important to use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Don't be that person sniffing around your neighbor's internet traffic. Respect privacy and use your skills for good. With that said, understanding how these attacks work is crucial for protecting your own network. Knowledge is power. And in this case, it's the power to secure your digital life. So if you're ready to learn about the tools hackers use and how to defend yourself, smash that like button and let's get started. Your journey to becoming a Wi-Fi security expert begins now. Don't forget to subscribe to Ministry of Hacking for more content like this. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on keeping your digital world safe and secure. Okay, so first things first, we need to talk about Kaylee Linux. If you're serious about cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or just looking like you know what you're doing in a movie montage, Kaylee Linux is your best friend. It's a Debian-based operating system that comes preloaded with a veritable arsenal of penetration testing tools. Think of it like a digital Swiss army knife for ethical hackers. Kaylee makes it surprisingly easy to get your hands dirty with some serious hacking tools. We're talking password crackers, network scanners, vulnerability analysis tools, the works. And the best part? It's completely legal to use. Now let's dive into some of the specific tools you'll find in Kali Linux, starting with a real gem. All right, let's talk Fluxion. This little tool is like the honey badger of Wi-Fi hacking. It's sleek, it's effective, and it really doesn't care about your feelings. In a nutshell, Fluxion is all about social engineering. It creates a fake access point that mimics a legitimate network, complete with a convincing captive portal. Unsuspecting users try to connect and boom, they're greeted with your fake captive portal. You can customize this portal to look like anything you want. A software update, a survey, a login page for free Wi-Fi. But understanding how tools like Fluxion work is crucial for protecting yourself from these kinds of attacks. Airgeddon, the Wi-Fi Swiss Army Knife. All right, if Fluxion is the honey badger of Wi-Fi hacking, then Airgeddon is like the Swiss Army Knife. It's got a tool for just about everything. We're talking de-authentication attacks, brute force attacks, evil twin attacks, you name it, Airgeddon probably does it. One of the most common attacks you can perform with Airgeddon is a de-authentication attack. This involves sending out spoofed packets to disconnect users from a network. Again, I can't stress this enough, use this knowledge for good people. Wireshark, the network traffic detective. Okay, so we've talked about tools for creating fake access points and launching de-authentication attacks, but what about actually analyzing the data that's flying through the airwaves? How do we make sense of all that information? That's where Wireshark comes in. It's a powerful tool that helps us dive deep into network traffic. Wireshark is like the Sherlock Holmes of network analysis tools. It's incredibly detailed and precise. It captures packets of data traveling over a network and displays them in a way that's actually human readable. This means you can see the raw data and understand it. With Wireshark, you can see things like what websites people are visiting, what files they're downloading, and much more. You can even see what passwords they're sending in plain text. Yikes. This can be quite revealing. Now, obviously, using Wireshark to snoop on people's internet traffic is a big no-no. It's important to respect privacy. But in the right hands, Wireshark is an invaluable tool for network administrators and security professionals. It helps them monitor, troubleshoot, and secure networks effectively. Reaver, the WPS pin cracker. All right, let's talk about Reaver, a tool that strikes fear into the hearts of routers everywhere. This tool is notorious for its ability to exploit a vulnerability in the WPS system. You see, back in the day, someone thought it would be a brilliant idea to make connecting to Wi-Fi easier with this thing called WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup. It was meant to simplify the process for users. The idea was to have a simple PIN code that you could enter instead of a long, complicated password. This was supposed to make life easier for everyone, but it came with a significant security flaw. Reaver systematically tries different PIN combinations until it finds the right one essentially brute-forcing its way into your network. 
This process can take anywhere from a few hours to a couple of days depending on the complexity. So, what can you do to protect yourself? The good news is, there are several steps you can take to secure your network. First and foremost, disable WPS on your router. This is the most effective way to prevent Reaver from exploiting your network. Second, make sure your router's firmware is up to date. Manufacturers often release updates to patch security vulnerabilities. And finally, use a strong, unique password for your Wi-Fi network. A complex password can be your first line of defense against unauthorized access. And there you have it, folks. A crash course in the tools of the hacking trade. Remember, knowledge is power. And understanding how these tools work is the first step in protecting yourself from malicious actors. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Ministry of Hacking for more hacking tutorials and tips. We've got a ton of great content coming up, from social engineering to malware analysis to the ethics of hacking. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a thing. And as always, stay safe and hack responsibly.